You know that they've never tried to look at any variant under the microscope. Well, there you go. That's why we have so, you here to educate us. Yeah, because they haven't try, attempted to do any physical experiments with it. It's only computer simulation experiments. So all of these things only come from computer work. And, you know, here's what they say. They say the number of cases of this variant, quote, appears to be increasing in almost all provinces in South Africa. But, of course, they continue that um, there, there are no tests for it. But what they say is current SARS-CoV-2 PCR diagnostics continue to detect this variant. Wow. And let me continue, and I'll explain what this means. Several labs have indicated that for one widely used PCR test, one of the three target genes is not detected. And this test can therefore be used as a marker for this variant. Okay, so here what they're saying is normally in the PCR uh, protocol, there are three primers. And if you have a positive for all three, then you have a positive test. So what they're saying is the Omicron only is positive for two out of those three. So in other words, if previously you had a negative PCR test, now they can call it a positive PCR test for Omicron. Wow. That so is. they're essentially didn't have to create a new test. Wow. They just found a way to convert negative results to positive results and then say that it's this new thing. And then because they're increasing the cases, because by definition, they have to increase the cases yeah. because these would have been called negative before. Wow.